Okay, so here I can see that I've just loaded in the um, the scene. I, I purposely moved the directory so that it wouldn't load the shader in automatically. And all I need to do is just select my character and go into my attribute editor, come over to where the, um, the DirectX shader is at the end, the shader head shader, and then come and navigate to that little folder. And what I will do is I moved that base folder here to um, just the root of my my e drive so this is the this is the folder for your character uh 8k asset source metahuman so i'm going to common tab and we're going to come in here to uh, if we look at this we're looking for the shaders so that's going to be under source assets shaders and we want the head shader here so that should uh give it a second there to kind of like load but that should be able to bring it back in, uh, hopefully, yeah. So it's detected that, make sure that I'm in I hit seven and it's still loading and stuff in the background, but I can see that it should probably work here. Let's just make sure, sometimes it takes a moment to load. Um, basically, it's just getting a little bit confused about, you know, where where are all those textures and shaders, etc. But now even though I've done that, it still doesn't look like actually all the, the maps have come in. So I've loaded the shader, I've located the shader, but I haven't necessarily loaded in all the maps. So I'm going to go into my Hypershade. And let's just make this a little bit simpler. Let's click on Textures. And we can see that all the textures are black at the moment, which means they're not loaded. And let's click on the first one. Um, that's just the body cavity map. may not be the most useful one. If we look, for, that's all body stuff. I was looking for like the head one like head color map, here we go. This is just for a random example. I can try to link this source up correctly. So um, this will be again, this one you can see it's actually under Taro and not just the, um, yeah. So if, if I go into maps here and we're looking for head color map, um, head color map, this one, right? And that should bring in all of those ones and you're gradually loading stuff in here. You can see that we get some different reflectance models coming in now. It might take it a moment to load. I'm hoping that that will load everything in. If it's not everything, then we probably just have to gradually bring everything else in. Um, so there might be a few other things that are missing at this stage, like there's a DDS file there. And so really you just have to go through and relink all these things, it's a bit of a pain. Um, this is this is one this one's under common so you just have to kind of see is it with taro or with common um so for instance if i step back here to uh not taro but common and um uh, yeah, maps or source assets maps um dx11 diffuse irradiance there we go all right that's the irradiance mapping right there so that starts to load things in um, and you just, you know, like you'll have to load in the other shader, you have to load in the other maps that way, but that's basically the, the overall way to get it done. Once you have it done and loaded in, just make sure it hits save, and then that way it will be um, loaded in for this particular uh, character. I hope that helps.